Hello guys and welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we finished up cross-examining Acro for now. We went to recess and we're preparing our strategy for the next for our next time in court. In this episode, we're gonna focus on taking Acro down because it seems he's most likely to be the culprit. Anyways, without further ado, let's get right into this. I can't believe it! Acro! It's pretty shocking, isn't it? It definitely is! And to think he was always the most straightforward of the group! Jeebus! Unbelievable! Ahem. Acro tried to pin the murder on you, on purpose. He... he did? Psst, psst. <laughs> I don't know who this is. My, my! He's just a little twerp, isn't he? Well, that's one way to put it. <laughs> oh, is this Gumshoe? Hey! Hey, pal! Yeah, it is! You're gonna ignore me after I went to all the trouble to bring you some evidence? Ah, uh, Detective Gumshoe. Ah, forget it. I'm going home. This guy deserves to be guilty anyways. Now, now, Detective. I'm sorry. Now, why don't you relax a little? You've got some really tasty milk. How about a card trick, Detective? Ho ho ho! Well, if you insist. Gumshoe was... Right on the money when he says Max does deserve to be guilty, though. He does... suck. Now, about that evidence you mentioned. What is it? Here you go. Huh? This was... yesterday in Acro's room. The result of our investigation. You can look at it later. Won't Von Karma be mad that you're doing this? That's why this is all a secret. Huh? Look, details are on a need-to-know basis, and we're not really allies or anything. But everything that's happened in court up until now has gone according to our plan. Von Karma looked like she was in a pretty big hurry, though. You'll figure out eventually, pal. Yesterday, our final plans went into place. Final plans? Uh-huh. That reminds me, uh, I've got a message for you from the prosecutor for you. Judgment comes at the very last instant. That's it. And that's it for me too, pal. I'm going home. What did he mean by that? The very last instant part. Hmm. Everything he said seemed pretty cryptic to me. Oh, one more thing. Ah! Don't scare me like that! It looks like there's a large care package from the circus for the defendant. Eh? Huh? For me? It's milk. The reception area looks like some kind of dairy. So hurry up and drink it before it spoils. An entire dairy's worth of milk for me? This court is now in session. Shall we continue our proceedings? Miss Von Karma, please continue from where you left off. I'd like to continue this Acro's testimony starting with his relationship to the victim. I'd also like to get proof from the defense. Proof of what kind of motive Acro would have to commit this crime. Understood. Now, Mr. Dingling. Yes, Your Honor. Please proceed with your testimony. Finally, we get to the motive. Wait. Nick, are you okay? Just do me a favor and don't ask questions you don't want the answer to. Gl When we were little, we were abandoned by our parents. That's when the ringmaster of the Berry Big Circus, Russell Berry, took us in. I became an acrobat at around nine years old. I wanted to find a way to repay the ringmaster. That was my sole purpose in life. Is that legal? Uh, if anyone knows about Japanese law circa 2002, let me know if having a nine-year-old join your circus is legal. Hmm, you're such a thoughtful young man. As you heard, the fitness deeply respected the victim. I wonder how anyone could think, could think that Acro could kill the man he held in such high esteem. You are absolutely right. How could anyone think that, Mr. Wright? Which is why there's no real need for a cross-examination, is there? Actually, that's the question I'm trying to answer myself. Why would Acro kill the Ringmaster? This might be my last chance to answer that question. 
I'm actually going to say no need to question him now. There's no need to cross-examine this witness. Ooh, what's that? Why was the ringmaster murdered? There's no need to delve into that bit of testimony when I know the answer already. Mr. Wright, I'd like to ask you a question. Go ahead, Your Honor. What was Acro's motive for killing the ringmaster? How about it? Can you explain that to me? I'm gonna say I can't provide one. Nick? Yeah, I didn't even have to think about it. It was obvious from the start. Your Honor, the reason that Acro killed the ringmaster is something that can't be proven. What? That's because Acro had no reason to kill the ringmaster at all. Ow! You foolish, your foolish attempts to fool us like foolish fools is so foolheartedly foolish. Did you forget? You made an accusation against this witness, did you not? I believe it was, this is the real killer of Russell Berry, ringmaster. If you want to jump to the end of things, then yes, that sounds about right. The end of things? Acro. You didn't plan to kill the ringmaster at all, did you? The ringmaster wasn't your target that night. What did you just say? I'm saying that the target of this witness's murder plot was not the ringmaster. He did not plan to kill Russell Berry. What? Order. Order. Bailiff, I don't care who it is. Smack anyone who's loud in the face twice if you must. Mr. Wright, what in the world are you trying to do to my court? Ow! Mr. Phoenix Wright, what in the world are you trying to do to his court? Are you attempting to imply that Acro is trying to kill someone else? The only person that uh, Acro would actually want to kill is Regina Barry. Regina Barry? This young girl is the ringmaster's daughter, correct? Acro. You were really aiming for her that night, weren't you? Objection! You don't need to answer that. It's a mean-spirited leading question. You could easily answer this question. If I'm wrong, all he has to say is, You're wrong. That's it. Is that it, huh, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Enough. Mr. Wright, allow me to- Ow! The only thing allowed to interrupt me is death itself. Huh? And that goes for you too, Mr. Phoenix Fright. Show me evidence, now. I want to know why Acro would want to kill Regina Barry. Yes, me too. I demand to see some proof. Present evidence that proves Acro is out to kill this young girl. That proof is the note that Acro placed in Regina's pocket that's written specifically to the murderer. Acro, do you have any recollection of seeing this? That's... It's a piece of paper that we found inside the ringmaster's tailcoat. Inside the victim's tailcoat? Acro wrote this note. It's ironically entitled, To the Murderer. Its purpose was to call someone to the plaza at 10pm. So you're saying that he called Russell Berry with that note? There's just one little problem. Problem? Acro did indeed place this note into someone's pocket. However, that someone was not the ringmaster. You mean, it wasn't for the... That's exactly what I mean. The person this note was intended for was none other than Regina Barry! Order! 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 Mr. Wright, this little theory of yours... It's the truth, Your Honor. It isn't a theory. Simply put, Regina didn't think the note was meant for her, which is why, the morning of the crime, she placed it on the cafeteria bulletin board. That's when her father, I mean the ringmaster, read the note? That's correct. The ringmaster ended up in that plaza instead of Regina. And he was killed because of that mistake. Instead of Regina. That's... that's... that's incredible! Remember the testimony that Acro gave us earlier today. Lifting the bust and looking out the window would have been impossible. There's no way I could have exerted that kind of force on my lower body. If I were to do that, I'd end up falling out of the window myself. Acro had no idea who it was that arrived in the plaza, because he couldn't look down out of his window to see who it actually was. 
I've got it! I've got it! Acro thought it was Regina down in the plaza. And that's when he let the bust fly. Hey Nick, isn't Regina listening to all this from the audience? She is. Unfortunately, it's only going to get harsher from here. I hope Regina can handle it. Acro wrote this note to Regina. Foolishly foolish fool with foolishly foolish fool ideas of foolish tomfoolery. You're so foolish you've even made me sound fool like a foolhardy fool. Very well, Mr. Phoenix Wright. If you're so sure, then tell us about this line. I have conclusive evidence of what took place. Mm-hmm. That's a line in the note, all right. Well, if... Well, then, if the note was sent to Regina Berry, it must mean that this note is declaring that Regina Berry is a murderer. You just don't get it, do you? What? What did you just say? The ringmaster knew what the note meant, which is why he went to the plaza, in place of his lovely daughter. Hold it right there, Mr. Wright. Uh, what is this incident that is alluded to in the note? The incident six months ago. I know all about it. An incident occurred six months ago. Now I am more... And now, I am more than ready to show this court what happened at that time. Moron! <laughs> Wait, are you sure that it relates to the present case? It does indeed, Your Honor. Everything in this case has its start in what happened six months ago. Really, Nick? I... um... I think so. Well then, if that's the case, hurry up and tell us about it. What is this conclusive evidence mentioned in the note? I know I'd certainly like to know what it is. If I can't answer that question, the judge is going to think I'm bluffing. The conclusive evidence about the incident six months ago is actually... ...a seasoning bottle. Hmm. <laughs> what kind of spicy joke is this, Mr. Phoenix Wright? It isn't a joke at all. It's the decisive evidence you asked for. What do you mean? The victim would arrive and try to take away the wooden box. That's when they discover the decisive evidence found inside. Another unbelievable conclusion! Very well, Mr. Wright. So, what exactly are you saying? Are you claiming Regina Berry killed someone with a small bottle of pepper? Taking the note into account, that's the only logical conclusion you can draw. Foolish fool who never tires of his own foolish ways. If you're so sure, Mr. Phoenix Wright, then answer this question. Who was Regina Berry's intended victim? Who is this? That is Acro's younger brother. What does this prove? His younger brother isn't dead. Technically, that's true. However, Bat has been in a coma for six months now. It's not a stretch to see how Acro could feel that his brother is dead. Regina, she did that to him. Do you suspend your entire? L Do you spend your entire life dreaming up new ways to be a fool? Naturally, the prosecution has looked into Acro's brother, Sean Dingling. Six months ago, he was bit by a lion and fell into his current comatose state. A uh, uh, li lion? Regina, I mean, Miss Regina Barry, is an animal tamer by trade. However, no tamed animal in that position is ever trained to attack another human. They wouldn't understand the command. Moreover, Miss Regina could never do something like that. It's just not in her. Hmm. So then, what happened to Acro's brother? He's not the victim of an attempted murder, he's the victim of an accident. I see. Now what do we do? No one seems to be going along with your theory. Do you think what happened to Bat was actually an accident? It was more than that. The lion biting Bat was no accident at all. What? You're such an amateur, Mr. Phoenix Wright. There is no way that Regina would ever incite her lion to attack another human being. She may not have incited the lion to attack another human being, but Regina is responsible for making the lion bite Acro's brother, Bat. And we have evidence of that in the scarf. That's... 
That's just a scarf. Acro. The scarf is something that Bat used to wear, correct? That's right. And who is the one who gave that scarf to Bat? R Regina. Regina gave it to him. Regina! There's something more than just blood on the scarf, Your Honor. And what might that be? Pepper. 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 Regina gave this scarf to Bat right before the accident, and she covered it with as much pepper as she could. Hey, what's with the silent treatment? Um, excuse me, Mr. Wright. You've done a good job of fingering a criminal, but out of curiosity, what was her crime? Um, Regina gave a pepper-covered scarf to Bat as a present. Where's the crime in that? It still seems like the judge ju just doesn't get it. Mr. Phoenix Wright, wasn't it said that the lion seemed to be smiling? Smiling? The lion was smiling? Right before Bat was bit by the lion, for a moment the lion's mouth changed and it looked like he was smiling. Lions... smile? I've never heard of them smiling. However, Lion sneeze. What, 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 what? Leon didn't plan on biting Bat at all. In reality, all he actually did was sneeze. He sneezed because of all the pepper spread on the scarf. What? You fool! You've got to be kidding me. Objection! What's the matter, Miss Von Karma? I... I... I object... for objection's sake. Mr. Phoenix Wright, you... this theory... you believe it? You really plan to say this joke of an accident actually happened? Of course I do. It's the truth. The lion sneezed due to the pepper, and that's when Bat lost consciousness. Akra nearly lost his brother due to this accident, or this joke, as you put it. Which is why he tried to get his revenge against Regina. You foolish idiot! Hmm. So it's a joke of an accident to you, huh? Once again, I'm impressed by your imagination, Mr. Wright. To think that there's someone who treats this accident with the respect it deserves. Are you telling me that what I said was true? Acro? You don't mean... You can't mean... Witness? Are you confirming the defender's claim? Mr. Wright, unfortunately your imagination is not enough to find me guilty of murder. What do you mean by that? The pepper. The scarf. The lion. I see where you're going, but it's a bit hard to swallow. Not to mention the fact that there's an even bigger problem with your theory. What would that problem be? The same problem it's always been. Evidence. If I drop Max's bust on top of the ringmaster... Where is the evidence that proves that claim? Uh... Hmm, you mean the conclusive evidence? The biggest problem is the murder weapon, or the lack thereof, to be more precise. Murder weapon? The bus that the defense claims was used. If that were to be found in Acro's room, and if it was covered with the victim's blood, that would be awfully conclusive in my eyes. Yes, it would be. The bust? Nick, you've got to do something. This is the last step. If I get this one right, the case is won. Let's see how things work out first. Might be worthwhile to search Acro's room, but... but... Why aren't you going to search his room? It looks like you finally figured things out, didn't you? Now you know the true meaning of Von Kama Total Justice. I guess. Figured with you, that's the least I should expect. You'd leave no stone unturned. Ah! 
Yvonne Kama never leaves anything to chance. We already searched Akro's room yesterday. What did you find? There's no reason to even say it. If we found what you think we found in that room, Akro would not be here as a witness. But to put a point on it, Max's bust was not in the room. The murder weapon is still unaccounted for. You see, Mr. Wright, the bust wasn't in my room. Furthermore, Detective Dick Gumshoe executed the search by complete surprise, and we took Acro directly to the prosecutor's office after that. End of story. Just wait a second. Something's funny about all this. <laughs> it looks like the coup de grace in this case was ever so sweet. But... But... What about the scarf? What about the note? What about them? Mr. Wright, no offense, but the important evidence here is about the death of the Ringmaster. I think you should remember that. Ah! Do something, Nick. Don't let this case slip away. The bust. Where's it now? Hmm. Where's the bust right now? You're Phoenix Wright. You know where that bust is. I'm sure you do. It's not even a single clue. How am I supposed to know where the bust is? It seems as if this case is coming to a close. The defense's counter-arguments look to have fallen short. Thank you for your support. Ah! Now if you'll please excuse me, Mr. Wright. I think that brings an end to the cross-examination of this witness. Where's Max's bust? The defense needs time to prepare to present its lace. I mean, case. Sorry, I'm just a bit nervous. I guess I bit my tongue. Huh? What? We need time to do what? Ow! Why are you the most surprised person here? She's your aid, isn't she? D do you really have a, a case to present, Mr. Wright? W what? Is he talking to me? The rest is up to you, Nick. Good luck. Hey, wait. You can't be serious. Acrobats always have their lives. Li Acrobats always have their lives on the lines, don't they? That's how Acro's li lived his life up until now. Now it's time for us to walk across our own tightrope. If we don't, we're certain to lose. Very well. The defense may proceed. He doesn't have a clue. I don't think he'll be finding one anytime soon. Walking the tightrope of logic. There's no room for a false step. Sink or swim. The only way through is forward. The murder weapon. Where is Max's bust now? It's somewhere in this courtroom. It's obvious. The bust is inside this very courtroom. It's... Uh, uh, obvious? Allow me to pinpoint the location of the bust once and for all. So I'm going to take damage on purpose here because uh, there's a line in here that's quite funny and... Uh, you get an achievement in the HD Trilogy port for getting this line. The correct answer, if you're using this as a walkthrough, is the witness chair. Uh, but if you say the judge's bench... It's, um... Um... What? Why did you stop talking all of a sudden? Well, I'm just not really sure if I should say anything or not because it's out under your honor's bench! You had to think about Vessel or not, it was a good idea to- Gua! What did you just say to me? That's a penalty! Ugh! What's that? You want a double? Here you go! Double ah! Uh, Ugh, I knew I had a bad feeling about that. Now hurry up and fix things! Walking the tightrope of logic. There's no room for a false step. Sink or swim. The only way through is forward. The meta weapon. Where is Max's bust now? Somewhere in this courtroom. And the true answer is the witness chair. Acro, I'm sorry to ask this, but do you mind if I take the blanket off your wheelchair? Uh. 
I'm sorry, I didn't quite hear you, Mr. Wright. Well, you are a big guy, and you have a pretty big wheelchair because of it. I just wanted to make sure you weren't hiding anything under that blanket. Because it seems to me that it'd be really easy to say, hide a bust under there. <laughs> Once again, your penchant for humor hits me where it hurts, Mr. Wright. I think it's pretty amazing that you could laugh in your position. However, your lightheartedness doesn't change the fact that the bust is under there. We all know that you couldn't leave the lodging house by yourself in your condition. That proved inconvenient when Miss Von Karma happened to search your room yesterday. If she had found the murder weapon in your room, it would have been all over. Which is why you had to hide it. The only place that you could hide it. Under your wheelchair. Which is why, Acro, I have to ask you again. Could you please remove the blanket from the wheelchair? Well done, Mr. Wright. Masterfully played. You! You fool! How could you- You've got me. I've been bagged by a real pro. Actually, two of them. Two of them? Miss Francisca Von Karma and Mr. Phoenix Wright. What? There's just one thing I'd like to know. How did you know to launch the surprise search on my room last night? There were two pieces of decisive evidence. The cloak and the bust. I burned the cloak in my room and threw the ashes away with the trash. Regina always took my trash out every morning, you know. But the bust. Obviously, I couldn't throw that away. When you executed your search, all I could do was try and hide the bust. And the only place that I could hide it quickly was under the wheelchair. Miss Von Karma. You had things all figured out, didn't you? I was completely sucked in by your calculated strategy. Now to be caught in the middle of court hiding the murder weapon. There's no way I can escape that. So you've got me. Well done, Mr. Wright. Well done, Miss Von Karma. Hmm. It all makes sense now. I can't believe that Von Karma thought that far ahead. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. You definitely couldn't tell by looking at her. I know I sure couldn't. I can't believe it. I... failed. Why did I order a surprise search of your room? If only I hadn't done that. It doesn't matter now, though. It seems as if we've arrived at the truth. Acro. Yes, Your Honor. Did you kill the ringmaster of the Barry Big Circus? Mr. Russell Barry. Yes, Your Honor. I'm responsible for that crime. Acro. All my brother did was want Regina to like him. And that's why he'd tease her. One day, my brother sprinkled some pepper on Regina. You started sneezing so hard, you couldn't help yourself from laughing. And that's why Regina thought it'd be funny to get him back in the same way. And that's why she covered the scarf in pepper. I know she didn't want anything bad to happen. I know this. She just wanted to make my brother sneeze a few times, too. But I just couldn't forgive her. No matter what. What am I truly guilty of? I'm guilty of never, ever being able to understand her. Your brother became a star. Regina believed in that so purely that she would laugh innocently when saying it. Too innocently. I just couldn't stand it. No matter how hard I tried. That's when you decided to do something about Regina. 
What do you mean by that? So are you saying you are a victim of all this as well? No. That's not what I meant. I'm nothing but a murderer. That's who I am. At first I thought I'd kill myself. Then I pondered giving myself up. But I... I couldn't just up and leave. I couldn't. That's why... I tried... to pin this... on Max. Max... I'm so sorry. I just... I just... I just couldn't up and leave yet. This has been such a strange case. It's almost a reflection of the circus itself. I'm an idiot. I can't believe it. You beat me again. I believe this case is now beyond any point of possible discussion. Thus, I'd like to declare my verdict. Not guilty. This court is adjourned. I actually really do like the ending to this case. Like, this last entire section especially was really, really good. It just sucks that it's attached to a case that's, like, 95% bad. Huzzah! F -f 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 fabulous But to be honest, I can't really be too happy about this. Acro the Ringmaster, Acro the Ringmaster, Regina, and Bat. Not a single one of them was a bad person inside, huh? Well, that's a good question, and one I don't know the answer to. Congratulations! Congratulations, Mr. Max! Th thank you! What's with the vibe in this room? We're just thinking about Acro. No, 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 no. If you worry about people too much, then you'll be like this forever, and never be happy. Huh? Wah! Wah! She's been like this for a while now. It's all my fault! Wah! Sweetie! Sweetie Pie! Bat Macro! They're never coming back! Now, now everyone's gonna split up. Regina. Mr. Wright, tell me something. Uh, what do you want to know, Regina? Acro said something right at the end. I just couldn't up and leave yet. Does that mean that Acro... Is he gonna try and get his revenge on me? <laughs> Saying of course he is, it's absolutely awful. Let's be nice and say I don't think so. Out of all of the characters in this circus, you're definitely the least worst, Regina. He's not gonna do that to you, Regina. Are you sure? You really sure? I can believe that? Yep. Acro doesn't have any desire for revenge anymore. If that's true, then I want to see some evidence. Huh? Acro said that all the time to you, so I thought it'd work for me too. Well, the one reason Max- er, the one reason that Acro can't leave yet because he wants to see his brother again. Hacker didn't want to get caught for a reason. He wanted to see his brother open his eyes again. B bat That's right, Regina. He's still alive, you know. He is, huh? But now that acro has been caught... Uh-huh. I know! What? I'll do it! I'll stay next to Bat as long as it takes! Till he opens his eyes! And then until he can meet Acro again. That's so sweet of you, Regina. I'm sorry, Acro. I'm sorry, Bat. Well, hopefully this is enough to give her a little peace of mind. Hey, Max. What is it, Mo? We really put you through a lot, didn't we, buddy? I'm sorry about what happened. So whenever you'd like to leave us, I'll pay your fee and rip up the contract. I understand. Such a fabulous thing to do for me. I might even leave tomorrow. What's going to happen to the circus now? 
Uh, that's the big question. Our ringmaster was really an amazing person, wasn't he? Even though he's not here anymore, everyone is sticking together. The staff, the performers, no one wants to leave the circus. That's why I've made a decision. What is it? I've decided that I will take over as the new ringmaster. I'll turn this circus into the best circus the world has ever seen. The best circus the world has ever seen. D -d don't laugh. Amazing. Yay, I can't wait. Then I guess that changes things. Huh? There's only one thing the best circus the world has ever seen needs. The world's best illusions. Which means the circus needs the best magician the world has ever seen. Max. Let's work together and make our circus super fabulous. What do you say, big guy? I don't know what to say. All I can say is thank you. Um, Regina, you're gonna help them out too, aren't you? Um, I don't know. Maybe the circus would be better off without me. What are you talking about, Regina? Why do you think that I brought you to court today? Uh... We've got to work together to make the Byra Big Circus bigger than it's ever been. M mo Zah! Mo's right, sweetie pie. It can't be the Barry Big Circus without Regina Barry. M Max. Nick. Seems like everything is going to turn out all right here. I can't wait to see the best circus the world has ever seen. Zah! We'll save you the most fabulous seats. I'll take us. It'll take us a while to get ready, but I'm gonna order special whoopee cushion seats. Ah, <laughs> oh, goddammit, hiccups again.